being really intentional about leadership style is something that's important to me. And I think that's driven the decisions about where I work as well as how I show up. So am I using kind of relational capital or influence? Am I using logic in an argument to really persuade someone? So I think that those all play into my communication strategy and, again, the decisions about where I work. And to be honest, I can be really flexible and Ginger now Headspace has changed a lot. So I have seen different environments, different leaders there. And I think I've been able to really flex, but I know what the sweet spot is for me. And that is a more collaborative, engaged environment where I really can show up more fully and be more vulnerable. But many environments do not support that way of working. So I've had to really test that out. And over the years, I've had some experiences, say, of sharing something vulnerable about myself. I, uh, I've spoken about this before, but one of the mental health struggles that I encountered was anorexia. And in my second year of college, I struggled with anorexia. I needed to be hospitalized. And one of the things that I really learned from that experience was that I needed to take care of myself and be really honest about what was happening. And so that means that I might need to say, you know, I need some time off or I'm feeling really stressed. My mental health is suffering. And if the environment doesn't support that, and I have gotten that feedback, people saying, you know, you shouldn't say that here or be careful what you say at work, then that's data for me. And it doesn't mean I have to leave that environment, but it needs I need to be selective and really thoughtful about what I'm sharing because that stigma is really alive and well. So those things come into my mind a lot when I think about the types of environments that I want to work in and how I want to create that psychological safety for other people on my team as well.